Hello everyone, I'm David Overholt of Obro Studio, writer-director of our upcoming Star Wars fan film for Vader Reviews. I hope you enjoyed this exclusive sneak peek of Star Wars Fallen Jedi. I can feel your fear. The same fear I sensed in Padawan. Before she died. Join her soon enough. So we're here in my audio setup here. It's um, a freeware program called Audacity that I use for all of my sound editing needs. It's a great little program and it's very powerful and intuitive. So if you're into sound mixing and you don't have a humongous wad of cash, Audacity is a pretty, pretty good option. This is the um, sound layer of the video you guys just saw. And I'm going to walk you through a little part of it right here because with all the lightsabers and breathing and fighting and everything, sometimes things get kind of lost in the mix. You can't really pick it out and hear it, but it's, it's there on a subconscious level and it adds to the emotion of the scene. But right here, this is what we're going to focus on. Um, this track titled Sith Whisper is the Kora Ratama uh, lyrics from The Duel of Fates. Uh, remember like when Darth Maul was uh, pacing off against Qui-Gon um, just before, you know, their duel concluded, uh, that whispering, Kora Ratama, um, that's, I put that in, into the score in several places. Um, we've got, this is the actual film score, um, all of the French horns and strings and cymbals and all that kind of stuff to give like the kind of scary nature of the scene. This track here is titled Eastern Singing um, because it's kind of a Eastern vocal which that was inspired by the scene in episode 3 where Anakin is looking out the window trying to decide whether or not to help Palpatine or Mace Windu. So I wanted to use that at some poignant moments in this part of the score. Um, it's not lifted from the movie, it, it was performed for this, and it's not exactly the same music, but it has the same vibe to it. Um, that was the musical influence for it. And then down here, finally, we have um, what's titled the chant track. And what that is, is a low guttural chant like, um, like the Night at the Opera scene in Episode 3. So I'm using a lot of little separate things from various Star Wars movies as an influence on this. Let me uh, let you hear what this sounds like, uh, just the music, right now. There's Vader. There's the whispers. And right there, I decided to add that Eastern vocal because that's right when he's talking about um, the Padawan just before she died. So I wanted to sort of use that Eastern vocal right here to kind of symbolize um, the death of the Padawan. And here's the low choir.
and that's as far as the scene got. Now there's a lot more going on in the score later on, but I don't want to spoil that right now. And um, let's jump over to Reason, and I'll show you a little about the composing process. When I was a teenager, I heard a quote that said, music is what emotion sounds like. And I really took it to heart. Film scores I've always really enjoyed have lots of emotion in them. Uh, James Horner's scores, particularly uh, Land Before Time and uh, American Tale. I was introduced to Star Wars. Absolutely loved it, obviously. Um, also, his uh, John Williams Superman soundtrack is amazing. Then when I was a teenager, I saw Lord of the Rings in theaters. Howard Shore's music made a big impact on me. He's one of my favorite film composers of all time. But my absolute favorite, of course, is John Williams. Uh, jazzy Johnny Williams. Um, he's my biggest musical influence when it comes to symphonic music, which is convenient since I'm currently scoring a Star Wars fan film. Uh, so I'm just going to show you uh, basically what goes into that. Um, I have a MIDI keyboard and a program called Reason, and I've, I've set up a full MIDI orchestra. Every instrument that's in an orchestra, I've got it uh, all set up here. And what I did was I, I set it up where I looked at a diagram for an orchestra, the placement for where all the instruments go, and I'm just scrolling through my instruments right here to get to a certain one. Um, if you want bad guy music, nothing beats a French horn. Um, but what I did was I panned each sound, each, each instrument, to where they would be on a stage if I was sitting in uh, at a symphony. So the violins are on my left if I'm sitting in an audience at a symphony. Um, so it makes the music sound more real. Um, it wraps around you and it sounds more um, more like it's a true recording of an orchestra this way. Um, which helps it give that big cinematic quality. Plus a crap load of reverb never hurt uh, when it comes to trying to make samples sound real. Like I said for bad guys, a big growling French horn sounds great. Sounds kind of like the opening to Godzilla. Or this. Just sounds like a Hans Zimmer foghorn right there. So you gotta know what instrument to use for what emotional state. Um, the flute is one of my favorite to use. Uh, they don't use the flute very much in uh, orchestras anymore, but John Williams used them all the time in his scores. So I'm trying to use it as much as I can. The problem is the flute's great for love themes, wonder, and lighthearted stuff. And there's not a whole lot of lighthearted in this film. Um, but I'm using it where I can. Yoda's theme is in the movie. We're using old Star Wars uh, themes, the Imperial March, the Emperor's theme, Yoda's theme, a little bit of Leia's for a second. Um, the Force theme shows up, um, a lot in this. Uh, we're using a little bit of Duel of Fates, which I'm excited about. Um, I'm also composing a brand new choral piece, uh, for the fight, so it'll be nice and epic. Um, and the lyrics are Timor Irem Odium Dolorum, which in Latin is fear, anger, hate, suffering. Uh, now, it, that is if Google Translate didn't fail me, because uh, I'm no scholar, so I had to try to transpose it in, in uh, Google Translate. But the reason I chose those lyrics was because it reflects Yoda's quote to Anakin. Fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering. 
So this movie is all about what happens when that fear and anger takes over. Fallen Jedi refers not only to the Jedi that fell during Order 66, but it refers to Anakin, the ultimate fallen Jedi, the chosen one who fell from grace, but also Vong Zar, because he's currently out for revenge for the death of his Padawan and being blinded by Vader. He's kind of fallen from the path he's supposed to be on. And it's a little bit of a cautionary tale not to let your emotions control you because it can lead you to a very dark place and a very bad end. Uh, we see the end result of what happens when he lets himself uh, give in to his anger, so to speak. So while the Emperor might tell him to do it, it's not a good idea. So um, I'm composing... A nice little uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark style piece for when the bounty hunters are kind of walking through the jungle. It's going to have a fun little vibe to it. Uh, we got a lot of cool characters in this movie. Uh, we're working really hard on it. Um, we're going to get back out there and start filming again once the trees come back to life. Um, so we're molding Palpatine's uh, sculpture that I did so we can get the Emperor prosthetics done. Um, we're going to have a lot of cool characters in this movie, and uh, we're very excited about it. Just a heads up to parents, there are some scenes that might be a little scary because Vader is kind of a mix between Anakin's anger from Revenge of the Sith, his intensity from Rogue One, and his power from Empire. So just parents with younglings, watch it first. Uh, we don't want to scare any little kids. We didn't set out to make something scary, but it is pretty intense at times. Um, so just, just be careful of that. And we have a PayPal for the channel. Um, this is how I'm making my living here, uh, making these videos each week for you guys. So if you could uh, give me a few extra bucks on the weekends, that would be great so I can keep doing this and keep bringing you content um, on the weekends. And uh, it's greatly appreciated. Thank you to everyone who supported Beta Reviews. Um, and always be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, all that cool stuff. I love uh, reading all your comments. Um, so I need to get back to work on the movie. Uh, thanks for uh, hanging in there with me on this little uh, look at how I do the film score. Um, we're, like I said, we're using lots of old Star Wars themes, and I'm writing new music to kind of, you know, bind it all together, so to speak, and hopefully become one really epic uh, Star Wars soundtrack. So that being said, I need to get back to work on Fallen Jedi. And you guys have a great night. May the Force be with you, and we will see you next weekend.